Well, hey, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. An old man. We got a new tool review today. Uh, I've, if you've been watching, you notice I've been doing quite a bit with this Top Shack brand. And uh, today we're, we're trying out electric planer, hand planer. Folks, uh, this is not something that I need a lot in the shop. And when I was looking for something, I was looking for something that was hopefully going to work and we're going to find out. But I looked at it from a cost standpoint, too, because it's not something I use a lot. It's going to sit on the shelf a lot. It's going to be pulled out once or twice a year, maybe. Uh, so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it. So let, let's take a look online at what this costs, and then we're, we're going to give it a shot and see, is it worth it? All right, so if you're wondering where I'm getting this stuff from, this is from a website called Bang Good, And uh, they've got a lot of tools on there, and they're very, very reasonable to be priced. And if you're wondering what this hand planer is going for, 30 bucks. Uh, that's <laughs> for for something you're going to use maybe once or twice a year 30 bucks i'll give that a roll all right so if you're wanting the specifics on it it is a six amp uh and uh it has uh, uh planing with 82 millimeters everything's in millimeters here no load speed rated input uh it's got a u.s plug on it obviously um wish they'd had this in something i understood a little bit better but you know it's uh Let's uh, get a bunch of pictures of her. Let's tell you what, let's take a closer look at it. All right, so you do have a fence you can put on there. And this is the fence. And you can mount it on either side, right there in that threaded connection. And then you have it on the other side in that threaded connection. So the bottom of the shoe is a machined aluminum. If you're wondering how many blades, it does come with the blades installed. There are two blades on this uh, planer here. You can see them right there. And uh, you can see how you would, uh, there they are, sorry about that. And then you can see how you can uh, replace them. Uh, you got the bolts underneath there. I just gotta be careful, I don't wanna cut myself on them. And then there's the uh, there's the other one. I, I believe this thing is belt drive. You can see that a blade and there would be, the belt would be in there. You have, a removable dust port, so you can have a dust port on either side, right or left. Um, there is a little device down here so that when you're sitting on the workbench, it's not on top of a knife. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't even aware it had that. And then you've got a little V-notch there if you're doing uh, chamfering. So uh, I tell you what, uh, it's got a, obviously a switch on it. It... Uh, you gotta press that in order to make it go. And it works both ways if you're right-handed or left-handed. Uh, it has its adjustment for the blade. It is right up here. And that uh, that is in, uh, well, it's 16th, uh, 33, 64th, and uh, 132nd. Uh, and obviously it's set right now on zero. So, uh, I tell you what, we're going to plug it in, turn it on, make sure it works first. And we're going to, I've got some, uh, I've got some oak, rough sawn oak that I'm going to put in the vise and see how it works. So before I forget, it does have a 12 month warranty, which is pretty standard for this stuff. All right, got it plugged in. It is a six foot cord. Uh, I don't have the blade down, so we're just going to see if it works. <laughs> So it does come with a little dust bag. I'm gonna see if it, shits, if it fits my shop back. All right, so to adjust the depth of cut, there's your arrow right there. And you can see I got it set at 1 64th and it's just a matter of turning the style. And uh, you can go whatever you want, but we're gonna try 1 64th just to start with here. Uh, I do have a piece of oak, rough saw on two inch that uh, you can see right there. Uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, let's try it out. Now to adjust the, uh, the depth of cut. You've got a little arrow here and you can see it's set at zero and you just turn this knob, super simple. So we're gonna start at one, actually, you know what? We're gonna go, we're gonna go to 1 32nd and we're gonna try that. I got a piece of uh, oak here, rough sawn and uh, ooh, gotta get you a little shot there. Let's, uh, let's fire it up and see what happens.
definitely works. Let's uh, increase the depth and uh, get you in there. Let's see if we can bog this thing down. So we'll see, uh, we'll go, oh man, we'll go aggressive. One sixteenth of an inch. Ready? Should be fun. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. So, you see the, well, I'm into making sawdust. This thing makes some, uh, makes some awesome dust and uh, finishes real nice. I'll tell you what, 30 bucks. Huh, that's a pretty good deal. I'll tell you what, well, look at a couple other things and then give you my final thoughts. Well, final thoughts. I'll tell you what, for 30 bucks, something that I'm only gonna use once or twice a year. Folks, uh, this thing's the real deal. Uh, I got to make an adapter or find an adapter for the dust port here so we can use it with the shop vac. Uh, you know, some, some people are don't have a, are bothered by cleaning it up, but sometimes I am. I'd rather run it on a shop vac. But this thing works. It works really nice for 30 bucks. Folks, I'll leave the links down below. 30 bucks. Pick one up. You're going to love it. Tom Horseman, YouTube, thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.